This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available in Amazon right now. Are you guys ready to take on the world? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Good morning, Central Oregon. This is Ranger Rob, and this is Central Oregon Living and Homesteading. And we're starting our morning out by realizing we have another busy day. Uh, got some kids coming over. My uh, son and her, his, my son and his wife, and two grandkids will be over today, just for the heck of it. And uh, what I want to talk about is our next project is definitely composting. And because we've been cleaning out this place every day, <laughs> we got garbage that we're pulling out finding uh plus we've been bringing in a lot of equipment every like the freezer we just got the box from that um amazon's killing us with cardboard and we uh don't have a garbage service so we got garbage here and then we keep two garbage cans over here um and uh i just bought a garbage can <laughs> I bought a steel one to put our um, our chicken. In fact, here's a great story. Um, our chicken feed. I, I always, when I had a game bird farm, I always kept our food in steel cans out by the pens. And I'll be doing that again. I was kind of interesting. I was moving stuff around in this shop here, here, and uh, we have always keep a spare bag of dog food for backup. Um, and I. I went to move the bag thinking it was heavy and it was like a feather turns out that uh some very busy little mice emptied that bag out so i got some real fat and sassy mice around here so this morning uh just doing my normal routine now is going out and let the chickens out and uh getting i think we're going to try to do a garbage run this morning because we don't do garbage service to save money but uh uh, but boy, is it, there's a lot of things we could compost right now, and we got to get those compost bins built. So that'll probably be the next project coming up. we got to buy all the lumber. I need four foot chicken wire to do it, and uh, we're going to put it out by the chicken pan because we want to utilize the droppings from our chickens to make really good compost. So, uh, yeah, let's let's let the chickens out. All right, so we got our, our uh, garbage can out there. I'll be adding more uh, chicken feed to it. So convenient to have it right by the pan and with a steel can, it keeps the critters out. You can put a, a bungee cord on the top of those too. I was just getting ready to go check my, my believe it or not, my zucchini is actually growing, but I was walking by this huge 
juniper tree. This is a juniper tree. It's gorgeous. And he'll let you look up. Gigantic thing. And sure, his dad, he's put hoses here. One's a soaker hose, I think. But anyway, this other one I've used before for the RV. But it's got this beautiful web in it. I don't know if you can see it. Um, if I can get the lighting right. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's a beautiful. Got, got a lot of sp <clears throat> sorry, got a lot of spiders here. But really nothing really bad except we do have black widows. Here's another picture of that tree. Look at this tree. Isn't it gorgeous? And yes, I have some broken limbs up to, up above from windstorms. And uh, we may have to get, order a tree service to get those out of there because those are what they call widow makers. But anyway, let's go check the garden real quick. Well, since I'm uh, walking up to it, I thought I'd show you a little bit what Sherry's been working on. Is this area out here is uh, all been grown over. You saw that Sherry got this all real pretty. And now she's been working on this corner here and uh, getting all cleaned out and trimming the, the limbs and stuff. You can really see the difference. She's really cleaned those up. And you can see if I go over here, you can see those all grown over. So we're kind of thinking about putting a cabana back here. I don't know. But uh, one thing that's amazing, by the way, is uh, these pine trees. These needles make the great mulch. This stuff right here. And the dirt in here is just gorgeous. Because it's just been, <laughs> you can see a lot of the uh, pine needles on there. And it makes for the perfect mulch. My gosh, and then the soil underneath is amazing. So let's go uh, check out my zucchini over here. Because Sherry says, I'm finally getting some zucchini over here which is right here and let's see what I got in here and uh huh I'm looking yeah right there Get your work down there. right there zucchini coming finally oh there's more in the back wow and uh everything else is flowers look really good and this is the cucumber plant but i don't know if I'll, it's just not enough sun over here but it's got lots of flowers but uh i don't know if i'll get cucumbers either hey like i said when we first moved here i was desperate to put something in the ground and uh if i get anything be amazing <laughs> but let me bring you around to the front of the house real quick while we're in the front of the house and by golly i am getting quite a few tomatoes actually so we can see them right here gorgeous old things growing here and uh, another one up here thought i'd check and see what kind of this is a these are early girls so uh they're a little bit smaller put that back So, sorry about that. And my other one here, I don't know if I could put the sign for this one. It's doing really well. It's a different kind of a, a tomato plant I've never grown before. But, it's doing really well. You see, yes, that's a flower. And, uh, we've got this flower integrating with it and so it looks kind of cool flowers inside my tomato plants look at this and um a couple of tomatoes down there and uh yeah that'd be a nice little spice it's not tons of tomatoes but it'll make for a nice snack nothing beats a tomato right off the vine so uh Let's move on. Well, we're back, and guys, I just thought I'd slow down for a minute. So, uh, I know we're always showing, going, work, 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 and doing this and that and fixing things. And I just thought, for a minute, let's all relax. So I thought I'd put together a little compilation of 
this beautiful day and our pond. So if you don't mind, for the next two and a half minutes, kick back for a minute and just relax. Here we go. I truly hope you enjoyed that. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to smell the roses. And so uh, that's what that was all about. Just all the hard work, uh, that pond, we had to get fixed and uh, get going real well. And I know Sherry's father loved it when he uh, lived here and we enjoy it too. And so uh, uh, Sherry's put a lot of work into it and myself to get that thing working well. Uh, it does have two fish in it. And, uh, but they're real small and you don't see them very often. <laughs> so, anyway guys, please take the time to subscribe. Share our videos all over the whole wide world. Uh, how do you like my new hat? It's, uh, this one's blue. The other one was black. We got pretty tuckered out. But, uh, if you're interested in ordering a Ranger Rob hat, um, you can get them on Amazon. So, uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please share our videos. Please become part of our family. Please leave comments below. Love to hear from you. We've gotten some great responses. And uh, help us grow our channel. So uh, thanks guys and have a wonderful day. Bye now.
Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.